recording. Hey everyone, welcome to our team Power Blast call for March 8th, 2016. So glad to have you on here. As everybody saw, I mean, Mark Briggs is in the house. Amazing, awesome, unbelievable transformation with the new 20, 22 minute hardcore workout. And I, we're going to talk about that tonight. Um, and before I have Mark jump in and introduce himself and share that journey, I want to let you guys know that if you hover your mouse over the screen, there's a little chat box. And if you have some questions for Mark, because I've got you all muted, um, pop your questions in there. We can go in and scroll back at, at later on and, and see that. Yes, uh, uh, so, so you can get that in there. And, and I'm going to say, I mean, Mark Briggs, he's been, I, I've known Mark for many years with Beachbody, even before the coaching network came about. Uh, we knew each other from the message boards. We're chatting back and, back and forth. He had a, a amazing result, a results with a program called Slim and Six. He, he was a success story in that program. And I think I met Mark face-to-face -face at a Tony Horton fitness camp in Chicago. I didn't officially go to the camp. I went down to meet with everybody down there because they were so close. And to meet face-to-face, -face, I'm going to tell you people, live events is where it's at. And so it was such a blast. And just have known Mark over the years and when the coaching network started um, and to see to see Mark, he was a founding coach, one one of the original forty or forty one uh, coaches that started. But he's been featured in a lot of these workout programs that Tony Horton has put out. We're talking P ninety X plus, X two, X three, X five. X, no, let's see. After P ninety X three, what did we have? That twenty two minute hardcore. Was there something else in there, Mark? No, that was it. We did some uh, tours around the globe, bringing fitness to our troops with P90X tours that we did through, uh, well, throughout the United States, Europe, and Japan. Yeah. Um, I think you wow. got it on pretty well, pretty well nailed there. Did some collaborative work on his book, and so it's, it's been quite an awesome journey. Oh, it, it has. I, it, it's really cool. And, and so, I mean, Mark has also, you know, helped Tony with a lot of the moves. He's, he's been on stage with a lot of the workout programs at Summit, for those of you who have gone to Summit. Um, so you, you definitely recognize him if you've got any, any of the things, and obviously you see him on the screen and we've shared his results. So um, Mark's a, a dad, a grandpa, uh, soon to be carrying art card member. You're not 50 yet. I've got it. I've got the AARP card, man. It came in last week. Dude, all right. He's he's in the club, guys. Um, so I mean, so there there you go, right there, people. We've got an art carrying member here with such amazing, crazy, awesome results. Mark, welcome to the call, and we can't wait. Will you share your journey or share share whatever information you have with us about your experience with twenty two minute hardcore? And I would I would love to. So uh, I'll start this back around March of twenty fifteen when I get a call out of the blue from Tony, and he says. Hey man, I've got this new program that I'm working on. And if you want a shot of being in it, you got to get in shape. And at around that time, I had been doing body beast for about a year. So I was walking around at about 230 pounds. Uh, I was really good at picking up heavy things and putting them down, but my cardio was not uh, what I would say is on par. And uh, I said, well, what do you got? What's, what, what do you got coming? And he said, well, I'm just going to say it's going to get people in Navy SEAL fit level. Uh, when they when they get through this he said, but you're also going to have to audition for it I'm like, what do you mean I get audition for it? He said everybody's got to go through an audition if they want to get a shot being in this one And I'm like, all right, so this sounds serious. It sounds like a challenge So I immediately shifted my training. I went away from beast. I went back to full functional training uh, Which I'm also a mixed martial arts strength and conditioning coach So I have the tractor tires and the battle ropes and the bags and all that stuff here and uh, I started cutting weight. So long story made good. My audition time rolled around about, mm, I would say it was late April. No, it's maybe, maybe June, early June. Uh, Beachbody sent me this video of, of a couple people doing a walkthrough of these seven moves that they had. And I watched it once and thought, okay, this, this doesn't look too tough. It, you know, it's seven moves. How hard can seven moves be? And I wrote them down on my whiteboard out in my gym and I had my stepson come out and they wanted me to videotape it from start to finish. They said, just do your best on it. They set a, a specific number of reps they wanted me to do for each move. 
And uh, me being me, I said, I'm just going to go video this and we'll see how it goes. So I made it through the first four and I, I was ready to crawl around on the floor and look for my lungs because I couldn't breathe. And by this time I had dropped down to probably hovering around 198. So I dropped about 30 pounds before trying this. I was in pretty decent shape, but the audition absolutely kicked my butt. He shut the camera off. I literally laid on the floor for 15 minutes with little swirly spots going around my head. And eventually picked myself back up off the floor and come to find out about three or four days later, I made it through the audition. And went out to California, did our audition once they decided what they wanted to cast us. I'm sorry, not our audition. We went out for rehearsals. Let me back that up just a little bit. We had about two months to practice uh, once they cast us for the workouts they wanted us in. I ended up in uh, cardio one and resistance one. So those I practiced on a daily basis, six days a week. And I trained in the maximum rep range to really get in shape for these. So when I first started it, I was getting through the moves in probably 25 or 26 minutes. And by the time we went out for our audition, or I keep calling it audition, for our rehearsal, I had most of the workouts down between 14 and 16 minutes that I could get through doing maximum reps for each one of these. Um, went out, we did our walkthrough, our practice, came back home for a week and a half, flew back out, and then we filmed them. Uh, we shot them back to back. Uh, mine are set on top of a mountain in Malibu. I didn't know they actually had mountains in Malibu, but my ears actually popped twice in the van ride up to the top of this mountain. For those of you that have been around and seen the show MASH, we filmed two ridges over from where they shot MASH. So we did one in the morning. And then we, or I'm sorry, we did one in the afternoon, then we shot one in the evening. Um, and then I, I left and came back home, went back to training. And is an all veteran cast in the, in the base kit that you would buy. If you opt for the deluxe, you get three bonus workouts that are called special ops. And then in there, you'll see your famous faces from P90X, X2, X3. But it's an all veteran cast. So we, we have real people. Uh, and you'll see not everybody's in peak condition. We've got people in all kinds of different shapes and sizes that are getting through this. Um, and if you have Beach Body on demand, uh, if you weren't aware of this, there is a modifier track selection where you can choose the modifier, it will split your screen. Uh, one camera will remain exclusively with a modifier and then the other half of your screen is the rest of the gang going through the workout as well. So it's very adaptable to people of all different fitness levels. Um, my wife and I were talking. Kind of, go ahead. I, I didn't have anything. I was just uh, just commenting. I was like, good, because that was one of the questions was the ability level that I had. So thank you for addressing that. Sure, sure. Around... Uh, I'm going to guess it was mid-December. We, My wife and I got a, uh, a call from Beachbody, and they invited us to take part in a coached test group. Now, a lot of you, I'm assuming everybody here is a coach, and we run challenge groups all the time, but this was really kind of my first time to be on the other end of that because having been in this since the beginning, we kind of developed the training. We developed the ideas of challenge groups. And so this was my first time going through it. And we had maybe 70 people total in the group, and that was coaches as well as the corporate staff that was overseeing it. And I'll tell you, it was a fantastic experience. Uh, I had contact with coaches through this group that I otherwise probably never would have crossed paths with, really built some hugely solid uh, relationships with people within the group. So we went through it together. We all kind of struggled through it together. Uh, we had gains together. We had frustrations together. Uh, but me being me, so it's like the second day that we're in the group and I see that they have Hell Week. So I'm like, hey, I'm doing Hell Week. Who's going to do Hell Week with me in the end? And then, you know, of course, we finally see in the calendar what Hell Week consists of. And I'm like, oh, my God, what, what did I do? Now I have to do this. But by the time you get to week six, you're ready to take on that, uh, that ninth week, which is two and three workouts a day. And you'll, uh, and you'll blaze through it. We just, my wife and I just finished Hell Week last uh, Sunday was our last day. And all told for me, I ended up dropping about uh, 14 and a half pounds. I lost eight and three quarter inches and I lost four and three quarters of those inches off of my waist. Um, what it did for me more importantly than the aesthetic though, 
was, I think most people that are in their 40s can relate, you, your body starts to slow down. Uh, it's not something that you want, it's not something that you welcome, but I hit about 42 and I've, I physically felt a difference. Like my brain is saying go faster and my body's just saying, can't do it, I can't give you anymore. And I just kind of accepted that to be, this is how it's gonna be. You know, I still train like a madman to the best of my ability and I move forward and, and I never turn around and go back. What ended up happening as a result of this is I got my speed back, I got my endurance back, I'm explosive, I can, I can lift more weight right now than I, than I could ever. Um, and I'm in single digit body fat at 46. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. My wife um, lost about 10 pounds and she lost five inches in her waist and I think she lost 10 inches all over and she's 48. Um, and you know, people look at our pictures and they say, well, you guys were in great shape before. Well, if you're married, you understand that you kind of get comfortable and it's easy to kind of backpedal a little bit, you know. Um, it's, and I don't necessarily want to say that. Life is full of ebb and flow. So sometimes you're on, sometimes you're off. Sometimes I eat a little more pizza than I should, or drink a little bit more beer than I should. But we both really locked down 100%. Uh, we followed the, the meal plan that came with it. We, didn't, we never missed a single workout, which obviously at 22 minutes, it's kind of hard to make an excuse for missing a workout, even if you're tired. Um, but it's just, it's been a fantastic program. Um, being part of the workouts themselves, you know, I've always, I've been involved in one or two here or there, like P9X Plus, I'm in the whole series, but to, for most of them, you're a little part, you're a little piece, like a giant puzzle. And being part of the coach test group, it was kind of like seeing the whole puzzle put together and laid out. And I think this is the most efficient program I have ever done in my life. I think, uh, I know for a fact, I've never experienced results this dynamic uh, and this fast ever in my life. And I would say right now at 46, I'm in absolutely the best shape of my life. Um, I feel like a million bucks. Um, and, and the nutrition I have to say is, is equally important. It's actually probably more important, um, than the workouts. I mean, everybody can lock in and do a workout. It's those other 23 hours of the day that we're either sleeping or eating. And really committing, if you really want to see results with this or any of our programs, you've got to lock in to your eating. Uh, the more you do that, the healthier you feel, the more energy you're going to have. We obviously have great lines of supplementation. Uh, I use the Energize and the Recover, uh, as did my wife. I did the Recharge for a little while, um, but quite honestly, I found a, a, another product with the exact same ingredients that I could buy for a considerably lower price and get more than twice the serving. So I made the switch over again. I don't always say things that are popular. I'm a straight shooter. I say it how it is. If you can buy it someplace else, I tell people that. I'm like everybody else. I want to get the most bang for my buck. Beachbody has great stuff. Don't get me wrong. Uh, there's obviously no replacement for Shakeology. We have six HD orders for Shakeology that come to my house because our entire family drinks it. In fact, my wife and I, could end up in a fist fight if she ever takes the last coffee latte and doesn't uh, have it replaced first. I'm just saying, but that's really, that's really the, the 22 experience in a nutshell. I think it's very adaptable though. It's marketed as an intermediate to advanced level program. The moves are very basic. Uh, there is nothing that you have to have choreography down for. I did T25. I did uh, Insanity Max 30. I've done all the insanities and I literally, my coordination is so horrible. I actually had to get a Sharpie, a silver Sharpie and draw the ladder on the floor. I traced the ladder because I kept getting my feet tied up in it and kicking it across the room and ended up tied up in a knot on the floor with it. There's none of that with 22. What gets you with 22 is the way they sequence the moves one after the other. Um, for those that don't know or haven't seen it yet, your workouts are typically either five moves or seven moves total. You'll transition from one to the next with no break in between. Uh, and you'll have either ascending reps or descending reps. It's not a time thing. So, for example, maybe push-ups. You might start with 25. Your second set, you're going to do uh, 20. Your third set, you're going to do 15. Or you may be going up in reps on other moves. And the way they put it together, it's just – it's a butt kicker, but it's adaptable. If you need to take breaks, you can take breaks. If you need to follow the modifier, they use less range of motion and a slower pace, which makes it 100% adaptable. Um, 
And, and then, like I said, the results absolutely speak for themselves. I've never done a program that I've been this impressed with. This is hands down. This is my favorite program that I've ever had the honor of participating in. Uh, and it's hands down my favorite program that I've ever done. We're already gearing up for round two, which starts after we get back from our business trip next week. Yeah, I worked that in there. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for that business trip. Yeah, we're all, we're all heading there. Some people on here are already in transit, uh, heading, heading to that, that, um, destination. So, um, yeah, I, I have to say with, I was really blown away at seeing your results because I've seen you go through many workouts before where you've bulk. I mean, you've done different things. You're like, okay, I'm bulking up. I'm doing this thing or I'm off doing some, some kicks you know, MMA stuff. And then it seemed like, oh gosh, you went on like a cutting phase and you got really chiseled, you know, and, and, and sculpted, but it wasn't not like you were following necessarily a, one of the workout programs. So it's very easy to just kind of pigeonhole a 22 minute workout program and go, yeah, you could probably get some decent results, but yours were mind blowing. I mean, just, and I'm sure nutrition was a huge part of that with, um, the, I haven't looked totally at the ration, you know, the ration guide, but it, it, does it follow like the portion fix type of thing? It's, it's similar. They have basically five different, um, plans that you could find yourself in. Mm -hmm. The other thing is it's adaptable. You know, we had some, uh, there were a lot of ladies actually in the, in the coach test group mm -hmm. and a lot of them, of course, they want to eat the smallest amount of food, you know, they want, so they're doing meal plan one. And what they did was they found out that they're, you know, they're low on energy um, they're having a hard time getting through the workouts and I'm also a licensed nutritionist. That's another thing that I do on the side and I'm telling them you need to eat more food. You need to bump up your food plan, go to at least meal plan two and see how you feel. And then they did that. And then, you know, we offered some macro advice down the road. My wife and I are big into tracking macros. So we go for specific amounts of protein, carbohydrates, and fat. So we use the containers, but we also continued to weigh our food to make sure that we were hitting our marks for what we wanted to accomplish. Um, and it fell in place really quite nicely with them, with the food containers. Um, for people that have never done portion control, I think you're really going to like the food containers, especially if you've never used them because you really see, okay, this is a serving of protein. And you know, like for, for guys like me before I really started doing that and I was just, you know, when I was younger, I was big into weightlifting and I, you know, I thought, I thought a, a portion of steak was like three times the size of my head. It turns out it, that's not the case. Uh, but that's how I ate and, uh, and that's what I did. And, and, you know, whether you want to maintain your weight, gain weight or lose weight or cut body fat, it all comes down to the nutrition. It's far more important on the nutrition side than the program so much that you're doing. Obviously you want to train. So it's in concert. Like when I was big, when I did body beast and I, I, I told you I did it for about a year, I ended up going from about 190 pounds to 230. And I did that over the course of a year by adjusting what I was eating obviously, but then when it came time to lean back out again, I shifted away from the heavy lifting and I went back to the functional fitness, as I said. So something that I'll, I'll remind everyone of is the first thing you need to come up with is a goal and you need to have a specific goal of, I want to get lean, I want to lose X number of pounds, and then you need to train, choose the training modality that is going to fit what your goal is, and then you need to shift your nutrition so that it matches your goal and your training modality. And when you have those three in alignment, you're going to blow your mind with what you can accomplish in eight weeks. I mean, absolutely blow your mind. And it takes dedication. And is it hard? Yep. Are there days I didn't want to work out? Yep. Um, you know, that's where it was great doing it with my wife because as fortune would have it, there were days that I was just like, I don't feel like getting out there. And she'd be like, come on, we're going. And then conversely, there were days that she didn't necessarily feel like working out and she'd get out there too. And I, I, I also... I have, uh, I'd say virtual workout partners. I have guys that I text on a daily basis and we hold each other accountable as well. And, you know, every morning we would wake up, we'd shoot each other our body weight. Did you do the workout yet? No, I'm getting ready to. All right, get out there. Let me know when it's done. So we had that going on. And when you put those things in place for yourself, it really makes it almost impossible to fail. Uh, one of the other things, and I know that you had some questions about like, how do, how do I market this? What do I do with challengers? One of the things that I had started doing uh, with my regular challenge groups was a weekly Zoom call. So it would be like a 15, 20 minute tops call where we would just check in. But people would have questions. They would have questions about form and function. 
um, where maybe they're having knee pain when they're doing lunges and it turns out, lo and behold, they're not doing them properly. So we could actually be on video and do demonstrations to show how to do things correctly or show modifications if things were bothering them. And that really took off. And I carried that over. We did that actually with our, our um, coach challenge group. And everybody absolutely just loved that checking in. It's one thing to see faces and read posts. It's another, like we have tonight, where we're face-to-face and we can see each other and we can talk to each other. Um, so that's, those, those are some of the things that I like to do. And I'll stop rambling now. No, no, no. That that's that's good. Some really good tips on what to do, and it probably um, we should do more often with some of our challenge groups, um, or even coach training groups, is to jump on just a, a quick Zoom call, just even check in and and uh, model or role play or even demo um, the, the form because that is key. I mean, re- regardless with. I think with a lot of your results, you know, we got the nutrition, but your form in, in the different uh, moves is going to, you know, work the muscle properly and, and get you more gains that way. So thanks for the tip on that, that application. Now, let, let's talk about um, it may, maybe target market. I know we said it can be for anyone, probably more intermediate advanced. Um, how are you promoting this to, you know, people in the military or um, – maybe husband and wife teams or anything like that. Are you, are you kind of strategizing anything that way? Yeah, it's, I, I think it's big with the military, especially like for me with the work that I do, I do a lot of gratis work. I train with reserve units, guard units. Uh, I've traveled around on my own outside of the stuff I've done with Tony and gone to several bases and trained. And it's you know, what happens with a lot of the military people is this. They are just like us where they work their regular job in the military, but they have to take a PT test every so often, which is usually uh, twice a year, and at least twice a year, depending on what type of unit they're in. And they'll wait until three weeks before it's time for their PT test, and they'll say, crap, I've got a PT test in three weeks. I have to start doing sit-ups, my run, and my push-ups, and, and the sit and reach to make sure I get my, my distance on my flexibility test. And, you know, there, there's people that just don't make it. I had... Just last week, and this is just a little short segue, I had a, I had a um, female sergeant, been in for 18 years, and she was looking at getting kicked out because she couldn't pass her tape, that she had to get taped. And she called me up and she said, hey, listen, I've got a week to lose four inches off my butt. And I'm like, really? <laughs> what can I do? And I'm like, well, you can, you can exercise more regularly. But I ended up ultimately giving her some little – Secrets that uh, MMA fighters use to cut weight last minute stuff. I gave her some ideas on wearing you know, smaller compression shorts So everything kind of packs in a little bit tighter long story made good. She sent me a message today. She said I changed my diet um, She had changed her diet like two weeks before but she was still like had two inches to go um, She made her tape and she was relieved and got to keep her job I said all right now that you made tape it's time to get off your ass and start training you're going to buy 22. Here's the link to my website. I expect to see you in my in my, my back office having purchased this tonight by the time I check for the last, last time before I go to bed. And she's like, done, done. I'll do it. So it's, you know, they're great people to, to focus with because they have to do PT tests. And if, even if they're in the National Guard or Reserve, they still have to do a PT test. And it's 22 minutes. Do you want to stay in the military? Do you, because military, I don't know if you're aware, they're kicking people out left and right who can't do the PT test anymore. It's not like the days of old, you know, back when I was in back in the in the 80s where, you know, we would show up for a drill and then sit around the Humvees and drink beer until 10 o'clock. And then we would go to lunch at noon and then we would come back and we would drink more beer. And that was how we spent our weekend. Uh, they're doing real world stuff now in real bad places. And it's very much a more professionally run organization than it was. And that kind of silliness has gone away. So great people to market to. And the fact that it's veterans in there really uh, affects uh, our vets. Also for the month of March, obviously if you buy uh, a challenge pack, Carl's donating $5 to an organization for each one sold that helps vets get back on their feet by finding employment uh, and getting the, the, uh, the skills that they need to get it back out into the civilian market. And obviously too, I mean, if they buy a challenge pack, they can sign up to be a coach and those fees are waived. And veterans don't have to pay the sixteen ninety five a month either. So, um, great way to connect there. The other thing is people that are busy, moms that are you know. We had so many ladies with small children in the in the test group that were like, this just fits perfectly because it's a twenty two minute workout. 
I can do it while the kid's napping and then I'm back into doing my regular stuff and taking care of the child and doing things that I need to do. Um, so it's an excuse buster, mm -hmm. you know, quite honestly, it's, uh, but th that's how I would market it. You know, anytime I'm talking to somebody about, uh, any of our programs or any, you know, somebody, I have people approach me all the time and say, Hey, I, you know, I want to do P90X. And I'd say, okay, when's the last time you worked out? Well, I played football in college. When was that? Uh, 23 years ago. Okay. What have you done since then? Well, you know, really nothing. Played Frisbee with the kids every now and then. Well, let's pump the brakes because P90X is going to get you sore and you're going to feel like you got thrown down the stairs, but you're not going to see results. And I would steer them towards a more appropriate program to fit where their starting point is that's going to get them where they want to go, but not kill them at the same time. So I think it's important to remember that we don't rush out and sell something just because the challenge pack is on sale this month for it and really fitting people into the right program that works for them. Yeah. Having seen the modifiers in this program, I'm telling you that this is, this is something that people that are, um, have a baseline of fitness would be qualified to do. Um, you know, look at Jeremy Yost. He was, he was 400, over 400 pounds when he did P90X, and somehow that guy got through it without even having anybody demonstrate modification. So uh, it's, it's definitely a possibility. One of the big things that Tony talks about with this program specifically is if you're doing a move and you can't continue, stand up and just walk in place until the next move starts and then jump back in and, and do with the modifier as long as you can and then you get back up and you march in place. Um, this is a this is a departure for you know this isn't P90X4 by any stretch of the imagination for, for those that may not have seen it. This is completely different. Tony is absolutely the drill instructor in this. He's not jumping in and doing the workouts. He is he is calling the ball and really motivating people and being a coach in this. And uh, you know it's the military guys. Tony will start off with the cadence and then it, he transfers command over to the uh, the platoon leader and the platoon leader calls calls the ball. So it, it keeps you in count. It keeps you motivated. It keeps you going forward. And before you know it, you're soaked and it's done. Yeah. I, I've, I've tried, uh, I've dabbled a couple and I, I've been in the middle of the hammer and chisel myself. Actually, I was in the coach test group. So I can totally relate on many levels of uh, what you're talking about with connecting with so many coaches. And I'm excited to, to give this, uh, after our business trip, to jump in on uh, the 20 uh, 22 minute hardcore because I, I've, I've tried a few and they are they're good and it, it is really interesting to see Tony not with all his witty jokes that you're kind of oh gosh I'm going to be reciting these 20 times I mean he's in there just giving straightforward training to people you know talking mm -hmm. talk about form and by the way on the business trip Tony will be there so if you decide you want to show up I have relatively good information that you will probably get to do a 22 minute workout. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. It's good in, in center to know. And yeah, I, I, I will be there on the business trip. I think there are a few people on this call that will be there. Somebody's airborne right now. <laughs> so definitely it. Uh, let me scroll through. Is anybody, do you guys have, have any further questions for, I mean, we've talked about supplements, talk about Shakeology equipment. There's really no equipment other than maybe the, uh, some light weights or the sandbag, right? Yeah. You want to, you want to pull up our, um, and you want light dumbbells. Um, and when I say light, like five, tens, fifteens, I, the very last week, actually it was one of the last workouts in hell week. I moved up to a 25 pound dumbbell for one move. And the rest of the time I was using the sandbag. You can adjust the sandbag too, uh, depending on how much sand you want to put in it. My wife started with 10. That really wasn't quite enough to put in there. 13 and up, you'll be fine. You can squeeze just under 25 pounds of sand in it. Mm -hmm. Um, the, and those, you may not know this either, Perry, but right like the week after we filmed, I tore my Terry's major tendon and my lat tendon completely off my humerus on September 6th, had them reattached on the tent. So this was the first full program that I was able to do. And I had to modify, you know, I had it surgically reattached September 10th, January 4th, we started the test group. So I was doing pull downs with a resistance band because I couldn't do pull ups yet. And, uh, you know, I, I still use a, um, I stand in a, a looped resistance band that's 25 pound resistance and I can crank pull-ups all day long in that thing. And I, I have done, I think probably the fifth or sixth weekend I did 10 on assisted pull-ups after the workout. Um, so there's definitely modifications. I mean, that's a classic case of a ma pretty major 
shoulder surgery and uh, and getting back in the game. So all kinds of things you can do to work through. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so you can overcome those things. <laughs> um, anybody can. Anybody can do it. That's pretty pretty impressive. I think my pull up numbers have gone <laughs> over the years too. Um, but I could totally relate when you said you're kind of resigned to the fact that I'm getting a little bit older. But you know what? You follow a program as designed, get out of your way, just go for it, get out of your head, and it's amazing what you can actually just say and, and, and accomplish. So people, uh, okay, let me, I'm just looking through some of the chat here. Uh, we talked about sandbagging. No, not sandbagging, but sandbags. Uh, let's see. Um, anything else, guys? Here's the thing. There's no stupid questions. And every time somebody opens up a line for Q&A, it's crickets. And then afterwards, people might think something. So if you've got a question, don't hesitate to ask. And it can be, it can be any of the topic on there. Yeah, there's been some great chat there. And I know we've covered a lot. Um, do, you use, do you use Facebook ads for anything like that uh, to, to reach out and connect? I do. Okay. So, you know. There's a certain target market you're looking at if you're reaching out for like 22 minute hardcore. Is it military or? Yeah, it's military, law enforcement, first responders, any anybody in that market because all those people need to stay in shape. Firefighters. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's just very broad based. And I started kind of throwing this stuff out there as soon as we started. As soon as they announced it, I started putting ads up for it to try and draw some people in. Um, and it and it's worked remarkably well. Uh, you know, I. I actually have some some guys that are very good at uh, SEO and lead capture and all that stuff, uh, and I, that's not one of my strong suits. Uh, but the guys that I that I brought onto my team that helped me with that stuff are absolutely fantastic. So, you know, once they once they click an interest box, then we're able to keep sending them correspondence until they either opt out of it or or end up making a purchase. So. Um, yeah. It's all about making the most of your time, really. And, you know, I realize most coaches work this business very part-time. Um, but it's like anything else. I mean, if you want to go someplace in your fitness, you have to set the goals. And you obviously do the same thing with your business. You've got Perry as your pipeline, So kind of he's on top of making sure you are all, all up to speed with that. So No doubt. No doubt. Um, and thanks. Um, so we've got a couple other questions coming in, and I'm going to talk probably a little bit about you know maybe the new coach that's um, uh, wanting to promote and have invite people to a challenge group the the first time. But I've got somebody on here that's just posted. Um, what about seniors doing workouts? Um, any any thoughts on that? And uh, seniors doing twenty two. Um, say that again. Seniors that are doing 22 minute hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think what, what do they think about that? I mean, I, I, would, I would make sure here's the other thing I would make sure, especially with seniors that they're checking with their doctor first. I'm, I'm guessing if you have seniors that are expressing an interest in it, they're probably already in shape uh, and not intimidated by it. One thing that I've noticed is, you know, there's things that I look at now that I would have looked at 15 years ago that I would have been like, Oh yeah, I'll go do that. And now I'm like, eh, I probably shouldn't do that. You know, and it's it's just kind of that mindset. I mean, I, I wouldn't I, – if they're wanting to try it, I would say by all means buy it because they really don't have anything to lose. Like all of our programs, they have an eight-week guarantee. If they don't like it, they can return yeah. if they find out it's not for them. But, again, that comes into the refinement process. I'm going to ask people a lot of questions and make sure, you know, if it's – if it was my 79-year-old mother that said, hey, that looks like fun, I know that she's got – a parfait of issues and has absolutely no business doing 22 minute hardcore. I'm not going to steer her towards that. Yeah. And that's part of our responsibility as a coach, I think is really connecting people with the right thing. That's not going to get them hurt. But again, it just kind of circles back to don't sell them something just so you can get the damn success club points. Exactly. Team. We, you know, we, we've got, um, documents in our team wall under the files area of great questions to ask people to, to help them connect and now actually to help a person make a decision because as you're asking really good questions and you're finding out about somebody's nutrition and what their uh, workout habits are and how much they've been exercising and when the last time they did and when you can kind of narrow that down you usually have two three 
choices that are pretty good recommendations. And I would make strong recommendations. I would not go and say, well, here's the, here's my beach body store. Go in there and take a look because it's like walking into a shoe store. People will not make a decision, but if they, if you know that somebody's going in and they're saying, you know what, I want some Nikes. I want them to look really cool. And I want this uh, running shoe, they're going to go to a specific section that that's what the, you're going to do. You're going to say, you know what, you're, you're beginning at your fitness. Let's start you with power 90 um, or slim and six, you know, one of one of those two, or may, maybe there's another one in there. Maybe it's Tai Chang, but you make one or two recommendations. Then somebody's going to make a decision. What would work best for them? You know, that's why we have the videos to share with them. And if 22 minute hardcore is right up their alley and they can do it or they're ready to modify and get into it. We had a lot of people modify hammer and chisel as well. And that is no beginner workout whatsoever. And so uh, that, that's it. So I appreciate the questions in there. Anything else team that uh, you're looking to grab answers on while Mark's on the call tonight? Harry, I wanted to say real quick, just to kind of piggyback what you said, I always send the video trailers. Once I narrow down a scope, 80% of the population are visually stimulated. So you could sit and recite everything about the program and it wouldn't click, but they watch that two minute trailer and it's either going to click with them or it's not. So I absolutely across the board for every program, I send a video trailer to help them decide on which one looks best and most interesting to them. That's really cool. Well, Mark, we really, really appreciate you coming on. Doesn't look like there's any more questions. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as people come in, you know, we're going to see Mark on this business trip anyway, and chances are, you know, well, there's only like 3,500 people on there, so I'll probably run into Mark every second. Um, but Mark, thank you so much for coming on here and sharing yeah. the, the results, dude. I mean, wow. I mean, the, the washboard's back. It is. But here's the thing, any, any of you on this call can accomplish great things. It's 100% it's just putting in the work with the, with the nutrition and with the programs. That's all you have to do. That's all I did. And that's nothing, it's nothing insurmountable. You just have to decide how bad you want it, just like anything else in life. So thank you again for having me. It's really, I, I really enjoy uh, having time. And, and of course, connecting with you, Perry, is always awesome too. So. It's a blast. We'll see each other on the business trip. I'll have the I'll have the big camo boonie hat on, and I will have the red lobster body. <laughs> All right. Well, you can see how pale I am, so it won't be hard to find me either. And uh, me run for my money. The, the glowing hair. All right. All right. Well, you have yourself a great one, team. We'll see you on our team wall. Go back over onto the team wall and post your top takeaway. I'm going to post a do a little post here, and you can and connect there. Mark, have yourself a great one. We'll see you in a few days. Thanks, everybody. Have a great yeah. night. Good night.